Is there a reason why you want to keep that part? Because I can find the love even I don't have a That's real thing. That's the real thing. And you still Second, have enjoyment out of it, perhaps? Yes, I enjoy having have this. Hi. Oh, wow, look at that. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Manda. Okay. So, can you show me around here a little bit? Sure. So, we are here in the second floor. So we, can we are in the second floor. Yeah. And what is this beautiful art behind you? Uh, this is like a, you know, like typical, like, tell, like, yeah. Quiet time, 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. Okay. And what is the sound Sorry. I hear? This is something like a uh, fish farm. Like, uh, how can I say that? Yeah. Fish farm and then something like a plants, tears, you know. Okay. And you ever go swimming over there or not? No, not, of course. I'm not. Um, it's not meant for swimming? It's not fit for my body. <laughs> okay. Can I see your outfit? Yeah. Nice. Spider from blue, you know. You like to wear a dress usually? Yes, yes. Since like a summer now. How many tattoos do you have? One. I can I one. see? Can I see? Come here for a moment. Yes. You're so shy. Is, uh, make it from Philippines. Okay. About four years ago. And then I have one from here. Because you are from the Philippines. Yes, I am from Philippines. From yeah. what city in the Philippines? Yes. Manila. Manila. Yeah, I was born and raised in Manila. And since how long do you stay in Thailand? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. More than seven years, so I know Thailand very well. Thailand is my second country. Even my family is here also living here in Thailand. And do you feel that Thailand is really different from Philippines? Yes, for me. Especially for the uh, cost of living and also for, especially for trans people, it's just like more often for peop uh, trans people like me to opportunity to work. Uh, right? Uh, in Philippines, not so easy, especially if you not finish your study. Yeah, you don't have background. So, so for you, everything is more easy here. Yes, easier, easier to like. I, uh, I, how can I say that? I transform here. I mean, like a transition here in Thailand. Everything is from Thailand, so that's why I call Thailand is my second country. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Okay, let's check Thailand. out your room. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come. And what is this? This is like uh, for my laundry. Because they are not allowing to put uh, laundry outside, clothes in the window. <laughs> okay, so this is where got, you hang your I laundry. Reported, I got reported three times, like not allowing to you know put your laundry in the window because of course the from the window it's the product of another condo, so they not allow you from that. Okay. But on inside, so let's take a look. Just going to tour around <laughs> okay. this small room, but please don't show me toilet. <laughs> okay, I will not show you okay. toilet. Just because it's a private thing. I understand. Let me take out my shoe. Okay, show yeah, me around, sure. please. Uh, yours is, I have a little, you know, kitchen, you know, little bit of a cooking. So what is behind this? <laughs> oh, show me, show it, me. Okay, sure. I'm not shy. I'm not shy. I have uh, some foods here. Of course, I have some Filipino products, this cooker. And what is a typical Filipino product that you have? Can uh, you show actually, me? Actually, it's already the, uh, it's already finished, but they have a, I have a milk from Philippines. It's, yeah. And are there some things you cannot buy in Thailand, but that you get from Philippines? Yes, yes, they have. Like, uh, for example, example, like uh, soy sauce. I like soy sauce from Philippines, especially. We are not much from spicy, but I can spice. I can ex sorry. I can eat spicy. Okay, I see. All right. Come on, let's and this is a curtain you got yourself yeah, somewhere? Yes, I just put in. I just like uh, everything <laughs> from here is like actually this is typical room from like a hotel. But since that I have contact for one year, I just like arrange. I really like arrange. I really like to like uh, organize cleanliness because just for myself. For me, it's like your room is your comfort place, comfort zone. So. What is your inside your room? What is inside your room? Is that from yourself? Who True. are you? Can you show me your wardrobe? I'm curious. <laughs> Some of your stuff, just a little this bit. Is that about the, sorry, uh, because my wardrobe is like, yeah, like clothes, dress. And you like to wear normally a bit sexy or more yeah. casual? What do you like to wear? Sometimes it just depends on the mood, but like typically a casual. Yeah, and what I is like casual something. like and jeans? Also a little bit, a little bit like boyish sometimes. Like yeah, really? I want like cops, like hip hop, like that. hip hop. But sometimes right. I like dress, but shorts. But more on like sometimes boyish type, polo shirt, like big polo shirt. There's no. That is really your style, bit. Yeah, okay. I, am, I like also like 
dress, long dress like this. Yeah. Okay, I see. I have a lot of dresses. Like a lot of dresses. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. let's take a look. Your yeah, bag collection. Yeah, my, my bag is not like a, you know, expensive or what. Like, simple, like, like you know, okay, what is that? Uh, yeah. Sara, like that. But <laughs> yes. Okay. Actually, normal. Uh, this bag sometimes they from gift, gift from me. This gift from my friend, from my friend. Yeah. I buy something, but not really expensive because right. I'm not the one that buying expensive. Like example, even I have money, but I don't know. <laughs> you don't like, like to spend your money on expensive stuff. Yes. Like okay, some, some, but not much. Okay. If I have, why not? But. Na typically buying expensive bags. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is my, uh, how can I say that? Uh, uh, mirror, uh, <laughs> mirror, makeup, makeup table. Yeah. Are you shy when someone makes a video of you? No. Is this the first time someone yes. makes a video with you? Yes, this is the first time. Especially how does like it feel? This. Are you nervous a bit? A little, of course, I'm nervous a bit because this is the first time. It's, uh, First time, like shock, like you not prepare well. Exactly, I not prepare well. Like example, like I don't know, like I going to you going inside in my room, guys. Okay, yeah, this is my my uh, my makeup. Thing. <laughs> Do you spend a lot of time every day for your makeup? No, 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 no. I'm not uh, the kind of girl like good for makeup, good from type of uh, foundation type of for my face. So just like only concealer, foundation, and lipstick. I'm not good for makeup. You can you, you can see, guys. I'm not I'm good from because you're a transgender. Yeah. And from what age do you feel that you want to be a girl? Can you remember? Oh yes, as far as I know, it's like five years old. Five years old. Yeah, five years old. Five years old. Five years old. I typically, I feel like not a boy. I'm, I'm like a wrong body. Like I'm a girl, but feelings from a girl, but my body is from a boy. It's a boy, so that's. Okay, I'm going to sit down with you in a bit and we're going to do a proper interview, yeah, but just sure. to see your room a bit, I'm just curious. I yeah. think my audience also likes to see a bit of a different video <laughs> opposed to the always yeah, polished baby. intros and stuff. Maybe perfume is here. Like I like the lamps. The lamps are pretty cool. Yeah, I like the small, I like something like uh, dim lights, a little like yellow one. I have also like this. Yeah. I so That's that cool. You can see it. See. Yeah. Yeah, it's my bed. Okay, lamp again. I have big lamp there. Small from the medium and large. Yeah. You never put on the big light? No. No? no, no. I like lights. I have a lot of lights here. I have I have here also touch lights. Guys come here. I have aquarium. See. So since when did you get this aquarium? Oh since like I move here. I from start from small aquarium to this is the biggest one. So like that then yeah so course, when you then, started how small was the aquarium small it's just like small like small one and then like oh no it's so small more than small like that it's fighting fish oh wow yeah then i like and they're I still alive <laughs> oh my god they are like <laughs> you know what i mean how often do you feed them uh once in a one in the daytime only daytime one time one time per day day yes do they have a name? No, of course I cannot. I cannot have the name. <laughs> it's like B1, B2, B, B, F1, F2, F3. Which one? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this may, uh, of course, this may altar. We are a Catholic uh, country. This one is this like a Nazareno. This is the one like uh, very popular in the Philippines, especially in Manila. This is like a uh, uh, Nazareth, Nazareth, Black Nazareth that we call. So we are uh, the boat. Uh, the, how can I say that? I forget in English. So yeah, this is very important for typically Filipino because not all, but being me like a Catholic or religious people, yeah. Do you go to the church here sometimes yeah, in Thailand? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday, every Sunday. Every Sunday. Not every Sunday, but I much, as much I can Sunday. Yes, I raised from you know typical family like go to the church. Yeah, it's, okay. In Philippines, very Catholic people, very religious like them. That's why a little bit different from Buddhists. Like that. True. Okay, so what place in your room do you like the most? Like, where do you hang out the most? Here, in the couch. In the couch? Yes, because sometimes like uh, chilling, like 
when I'm going to eat, like, yeah, I just sit down here on the floor. I like more relaxing when I'm going to eat and yeah. watching television. Yes. And what type of stuff do you like to watch? S mm, Netflix. I watch Netflix. I like uh, something like, uh, how can I say that? Um, uh, suspense. Suspense. Like that. I what like is that. the last movie you saw that you think was really interesting? Don't Breath. <laughs> Don't Breath. And then now they are showing in the Netflix Don't Breath 2. Yeah, I like that. I like that kind of uh, typical uh, stories. Like suspense. some people suspense, like something, uh, how they have uh, something like um, you cannot read what happened in the next. Like a twist, know? like twist. maybe something yes, else going to happen. Something else, something like he's a bad, he doing something bad, but something has some reasons. Like I believe the words something for a reason. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. And the bed, how is the bed? Oh, the bed, yeah, it's, oh, no, it's very you know, comfortable. <laughs> yeah? No. Uh, this bed, <clears throat> actually, uh, I made like two comforters. Two comforters? On the top, because I don't like to feel the spring from the bed, like the spring one, because some people, they really like, like uh, very, you know what it, what it means. But for me, when I feel the spring from the bed, and then they have no comporter in the top. When I wake up, I feel like feel, feel pain in my back. Ooh. So I like to have a two comporter out upstairs and in the top. Sorry. Are you an easy sleeper? Yes, especially like uh, sorry, I'm the kind of people like more. I can sleep when I'm alone. I cannot sleep from other place. I mean, you cannot sleep if you're in another place. Yes, yes, it's not so easy for me. Like. Especially sleep over to my friends, for sure I cannot sleep. Like, because we're talking, I know that I'm not on the place. Like, like here, example, when I lay down, I open the television, I can sleep very easy. Yep. You have your own rituals about sleeping, your own bed. Yes. Uh, yes, I have that. I have that. Sometimes I, I cannot sleep without on my legs like that. I need some extra. That's why when I'm sleep over to my friend, I asking if you have extra one bed, like like this long pillow, because I have to put on my legs. It's like you hug yes. something while you're sleeping. Yes, yes, exactly. Then um, and it's really typical for Thai people actually. But in the Philippines, the people also sleep like that with something between their legs. Yes, between uh, yeah. because uh, maybe like uh, you know when I was child, when I was young, like. Literally, I was sleeping with my sisters, or brothers, like that. I like all, and to my mom, I always like put my legs to her, like that. That's why when I was, of course. So you shared a bed in the Philippines when you were younger. Yes, of course. I'm proud to say that uh, I'm born in the poor family, but I'm raised with a good attitude and discipline from my father and my mother. We are eight. Nice. We are eight. I have three brothers and four sisters. I'm the youngest one. How so old are you? Thirty-two. That is true. <laughs> no more, no less. 32. <laughs> yes. So I was uh, 24 when I was moved to Thailand. Everything changed here in Thailand. Everything is changed. I moved here like a boy. Like, short like a hair. boy? You moved yeah, here when you were a boy? Yeah, but I'm already like a... I mean, like, look like a boy, but I'm... My feelings is like a girl. So I just like transition here. I start transition here. To take hormones, everything, surgery, like... You did the whole transition in Thailand? Yep. But it was yeah. also your main idea when you came to Thailand in the first place? Yeah, uh, not really because my father not don't want me to really to make me like look like a girl, even my mom. But being like a trans or like being like me before, like he started just like starting, you not say by yourself like I I like to be like a girl, I like to be like have a pussy, I like to get like a boobs. Because step by step. Did you do the whole procedure? Uh, no, no, no. Just like on the top. Yeah. On down. Not. <laughs> not. Yeah. But it's in the pipelines. You want to do that in the future? No. No. Not? Before, before, before. Honestly, before, I just planning to... I want to get hub to cut. To cut my between on my legs. But when I get like surgery from, them, from my boobs and then I got from boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, mindset was big change. Okay. Who are the people like accepting a trans people, like especially like if you are trans people, you are more accepting. They like love, uh, caring from the people, especially Western people, US people. 
I was taught before, like, if you have a boobs, you have to cut, which is not. Is there a reason why you want to keep that part? I, one of the reasons why I have to keep that part is just because one reason is why I have to cut is just for, for the other people to make it me love or just for myself to make me happy. So that is two, two reasons. For me, why you have to keep this one? First, I fair enough what I have right now because I can find the love even I don't have a pussy. That's real thing. That's the real thing. And you still Second, have enjoyment out of it, perhaps? Yes, I enjoy having have this. And also, I have friends with a the pussy. They enjoy it. Because okay, let's sit to, down. I want to do an interview with you a bit. I know you're super yeah. nervous. Okay. I'm not. It's, not. <laughs> it's, it's funny to You know how I notice it? Yeah, sorry. sorry. Come. Because you talk very quickly, fast movements very fast. with your hands. Sorry. Very no, no, it's, it's okay. fine. It's, it's, it's funny to see. But don't worry. You're gonna do a, a interview. It's gonna be good. So uh, water. yeah, take some water. Take a little break. <laughs> Bye. Bye.